so that was a parade of my garden tractors. That's my collection. Well, there's one that I couldn't get started. And it's one of my favorite ones. And I think it's because I put a small battery on it. I don't think it's turning over fast enough to start. But anyway, so today's video, beside showing you my all my tractors, is I want to concentrate on the sleeve hitch, well, hitches. Sleeve hitches and regular hitches and whatever. So I got- If you like these kind of videos, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> and Steve, there you go. Line up here. And all these have hitches on it. Um, and I bought them for those reasons. So I'm gonna show them to you. So the Craftsman GT, one of my favorites sleeve hitch right here so any sleeve hitch will fit on that this is a sear suburban hitch that i put an electronic um, linear actuator on it and that brings this up and down i got a disc on it i built this little box on it just because that's what i did but anyway it's the exact same as this so this is a Sears Suburban 15. And that's a manual hitch. All right, there's your two bars. So this is Sears Suburban, that's Sears Suburban. That over there is a sleeve hitch. Now this is a category zero hitch, okay? So they got zero, one, two, three. I, can't, I don't know how high they go, but it's for tractors. And most tractor implements are a category well, they're not zero, so zero is pretty rare because it's on a garden tractor. Yardman 999. Now this is operated by hydraulic, so that'll go up and down. If it had a deck on it, it'd you know go up and down with it. But that's pretty nice, and I got my log splitter. I just pull my log splitter around with it. But that's hydraulics. Exact same thing right here. Well, it's the same machine, but it's got a front end loader on it. These are identical, 999s, yard man. I just got a tiller on the back of this one, which I really don't use a tiller, but I use it as counterweight when I use um, the bucket. But right there it is. So that goes up and down with hydraulics. And then lastly, another sleeve hitch. This is on a Murray. Um, I just bought this because it had a sleeve hitch on it. And so to me, that's purposeful. Uh, that have, is the tractors right here in the background that I have that have sleeve hitches. And I'll show you some, but don't, just because they're out here. I'm cleaning out my shed, so I pulled everything out today. It's my Jeep mower. Um, I'm getting ready to put angle iron on the back and redo this bed uh, whenever I get around to it. Um, anyway, that's pretty cool. I got my little work table I made out of a trailer there. <laughs> four-wheeler golf cart not a whole lot to say there zero turn not a whole lot to say there and look these are one of my two favorites now you can buy hitches for these i just haven't got around to it i haven't had them that long less than a year uh, both of them but they're uh you know toro wheel horse they're identical uh 522 xi they both have power steering that's why i bought them that's why i like them um, that one I probably will mow the grass with some. It's got the 60 inch deck and um, and it's got the hubcaps and it's got power steering. So I'll probably actually mow that some this year. I mean, that's my mower right there, but they all take their turns. Now this didn't have, well, I got a mowing deck for it. It's just not on it. Of course, I got the sleeve hitch on it. Now these don't have hitches, which I know you can buy them. This is part of my collection I'm showing you. Here is John Deere. Uh, what was that? F525. Zero turn. That's pretty cool. I mean, I got it for just because it's cool. Uh, this one. Now, this this is one of the elite craftsmen's because it didn't have the handle right here. It's got an electric motor underneath that raises and lowers the deck. Now, if I, if I bought a sleeve hitch for this, then it would be electric by that same motor. And um, so that's pretty nice. I mean, it's a little bit nicer than most craftsmen. I mean, they got the glass 
got uh, there and it's got cruise control. And it's, you know, it's just nicer. I think that's a 54 inch deck. This, I don't know. I just got this to work on. I'm not even gonna talk about that since I'm a regular craftsman. Got the trailers there. I'm just hauling around firewood. One that runs. But I tell you what I did. And I tried to save $20. And I bought a battery for it the other day. And look what I did. I never do this. I always buy the biggest, baddest batteries they make. That's the 160 amps. And it's just not turning it over fast enough, I think. Because it, it ran the other day. Um, See, so it's just not it's just not getting it turned over good enough to start. So I'm gonna, probably gonna take that back tomorrow. See if they'll let me do a little swap -a -roo. And I'll get that running. But it runs, it's cool, it's a lifted mower, it's a craftsman. Lift it up, I'll at least show you a picture of it. Everything about it runs, it's just got a weak battery. Uh, another uh, Yardman 999, obviously it has no motor. You know, I got the uh, hitch on it. And um, so look, all these, so this has been adapted to fit a category one implement on something like this. Somebody, uh, you know, we welded on it, made it where it's wider. Sears Suburban, Sears Suburban, Sears Suburban hitches. Another sleeve hitch, another sleeve hitch. Um, tires I don't have anything to do with that are nice. Uh, top links on all those mowers right there. So you'll see this on the upcoming video. This Craftsman, has an electric lift on it too. So it's got part of the sleeve hitch on it. I'll, from the shed, I'll complete that. But this lift will go up and down electric. Right there it is. Um, but I gotta do some work on this one. I got a coal, that coal is, it's not getting fire, so I'm gonna replace that coal, that's the upcoming video. Right there's the new coal, I just hadn't done it yet. I've been out here playing today. So March Madness going on. Tennessee just won earlier today. So, um, Purdue lost yesterday. That was a big upset. Anyway, uh, that is my collection for now. See, my collection always changes because I'm always buying and selling. But uh, I'm pretty happy with what I got right now. There's Let's my backyard. Don't you know the neighbors love me? I put it in the backyard so they can't see it. There they are over there. So anyway, that's kind of what's down the lifting mower running. I'm gonna add that to the video or our next video. Uh, anyway, that's it. Didn't have it. This is kind of a goof off day. I've been working on firewood today. But there's some, see that's pine. Of course, you don't want to burn that inside the house. So that's going to be for the fire pit. And that's why I got it close here and all the other stuff's going to be in the back. But look at all that. I got a load from a tree service, so that's what I've been working on. I think me and Millie are going to go inside and eat a little dinner. Finish watching some basketball for the rest of the day. I'm out.